LDL ain't so bad. It has real benefits. Fasting study in humans, and these people were not on a low-carb diet. The fasting was not any prolonged. But you can clearly demonstrate out here that in a fasted state, the liver is making much less VLDL cholesterol, which is triglyceride-rich, and making a lot higher LDL cholesterol, which is cholesterol-rich. In the fasted state, the liver produces more LDL, which is cholesterol-rich, and less VLDL, which is triglyceride-rich. So I said that I wanted my patients to eat like this, fatty food, fatty uh, uh, animal fat, animal uh, protein, which is fatty, as well as fatty fish. When they do this, this is the pattern that I observe. If they are ketotic, if they are having ketones, by design, they're going to have high LDL cholesterol. They're going to have high HDL. And studies show that they eliminate more fecal cholesterol, and their LDL receptor goes down. So now I move on to a path which says, why do we malign LDL? Does it have any benefit? So this is a rat lung, and in the rat lung are these bacteria. And the bacteria want to cause an infection in the rat. And what is happening out here is that it releases this protein, which is called AGR protein, which establishes a quorum and says, hey, there is enough uh, milieu out here for us to cause bacterial virulence, and they take foothold and cause a pneumonia. Now, you would be surprised to know that there are animal studies that show that the lowly LDL is the one that soaks up this AGR protein so that quorum is not established and infection is abolished. Now, here is another uh, bit of information, and that is that these bacteria also release inflammatory mediators. And these inflammatory mediators cause cell death. What is neutralizing these inflammatory mediators, which is LPS and LTA? It is same, the LDL cholesterol. And it reduces bacterial virulence. LDL's APOB100 protein neutralizes the quorum sensing of the AGR protein produced by bacteria and mediates the LPS and LTA endotoxins seeking cell death. So in this animal study, the LDL protected the host from pneumonia by these bacteria releases in the bloodstream. Now what about human studies? I want to go to some prospective human studies. This is the Leiden 85 study. 700 patients followed for 10 years. And they looked at whether cholesterol predicted their mortality, their cancer death, and their infection. And what we found is that high cholesterol was defined as 300 or greater, 250 was middle cholesterol, and 200 was low cholesterol. The highest cholesterol group had the lowest overall mortality. The highest cholesterol group had the lowest overall cancer mortality. Old people die of infections, pneumonias. The least risk of infection was in the highest cholesterol group. In this study, high cholesterol group had the lowest all-cause mortality, the lowest cancer mortality, and the lowest respiratory infection deaths. Brain integrity is dependent on cholesterol rats for neurotransmission. Now this is a Lothian birth cohort. Kids born in 1936 in the town, followed in 2010 when they were 70 years of age, and the principal reason that they were being followed is to see whether cholesterol predicted cognitive function. This is what happened. 300 was high cholesterol, 250 was middle cholesterol, and 200 was low cholesterol. The highest cholesterol group had the lowest risks of hypertension, the lowest risks of stroke, the lowest risks of heart disease. What about cognitive function? The higher your cholesterol, the better your cognitive function. The general ability, your processing speed, your memory, your IQ, all dependent on high cholesterol. About 300 of these 1,000 patients were on statins. Did statin make a difference in their cognitive skills? And what we find is that 
the 300 people that were on statins, their cognitive skills was much lower compared to their cohort that were not on statins. In this study, the high cholesterol group had the lowest levels of hypertension, the lowest levels of stroke, the lowest levels of cardiovascular disease. They had the highest level of general ability, of processing speed, and memory. And the group that had been taking statins had the lowest level of general ability, processing speed, and memory. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.